what is it like to get diagnosed with ADHD as an adult and why should you bother doing it? Um, these are some of the questions that I was asked when I came out with having an ADHD diagnosis and I thought if people are asking me then perhaps you're asking yourself them too. So today we're going to look at do I have ADHD and why should I bother getting assessed as an adult? Hi, if you don't know me, I'm Lorna. Welcome to Accidentally Awesome. And if this isn't your first time on the channel, welcome back. Hi, friends. And as you can see, we're in my lovely bedroom today. The kids aren't back at school yet. And I really wanted to get this video out, so I came up here and hid. So, my background is I was diagnosed at 49. So yes, I'm going to be 50 this year. And I went down that whole path because my daughter was diagnosed as having ADHD. And for her, I started to look into ADHD for girls, how it presents, the difficulties they face. That led me on to looking at women with ADHD and doing some self-testing. And I had a massive light bulb moment and I thought, I think I have ADHD. So I spoke to my therapist about it, my psychologist. She did not believe I had ADHD, but I went ahead and booked an appointment with a psychiatrist anyway, because I've had a lot of struggles in my life mentally. Um, you know, struggles keeping focus, struggles getting started on projects nearly failed my degree because of that one and I actually changed it from my first degree to my second degree because of that issue as well. Um, you know, the whole overthinking of things, the constant dialogue in my head and I'd had loads of different therapies um, trying to figure out what it was, what was going on with me, uh, what was wrong with me turns out there was nothing wrong with me. I was just different, differently wired. And for me, having that diagnosis has been a very positive thing. But I know for out there that there's a lot of people that may not be feeling the same way. So and maybe asking why bother at this age? You know, I'm 49, I'm nearly 50. Why bother getting diagnosed? Is it a waste of time? Is it a waste of money? Because these things are not cheap. And yeah, I just wanted to, to address that. So firstly, I did some self-testing. Um, I'll put some links below. But I think my favourite one was in the Attitude online magazine. That's ADD, Tude. The link will be below. Um, and that made me really sit back and think, perhaps I am. Um, it certainly had given me a few hints about it. So I started to dig a bit deeper and thought a lot of these traits are things that I can relate to. And I sat in this for quite a while. I didn't just jump out and go and get assessed straight away. I actually sat in it for several months. And a friend of mine had confided in her um, and she actually told me that she had ADHD as well. She was inattentive. Um, and that strangely made me feel so much better about myself. And she encouraged me to look into it further and was incredibly supportive. So if you're watching, Susan, thank you. Um, and I, I sort of touched on a few social media things. And the one thing that really sort of made me go, I need to get a formal assessment was a girl that I follow in the UK and she was saying she was getting a formal assessment and I sort of said to her, asked her the question, why, you know, why bother as an adult? Not in a bad way, I was interested in her ideas, why should you try and do this as an adult? And she came back with a few um, things again very supportive no judgment no judgment at all and so I had brought up the idea of medication and I thought well I've tried a lot of other medication would I prepare be prepared to try something else and I thought 
yes, I would. I would. I would give it a go. Um, so I went on the path, got myself ass assessed in February, and I started medication straight away. And for me, it's been a game changer. I know for a lot of people, it's not necessarily something that helps them straight away. Um, I found that myself on other medication for depression, anxiety, those sort of things. Um, some things work fabulously well, other things are completely horrendous. Um, but I was very lucky that the first thing I was given actually worked really, really well. So there's one thing to consider. You cannot get medication for ADHD unless you have been assessed by a psychiatrist. Um, doctors are only allowed to, in Australia that is, doctors are only allowed to give you this medication on approval from a psychiatrist. Um, my psychiatrist prescribes directly to me, so I'm okay with that. Um, another reason I think is good to get assessed as an adult is because it gives you an understanding of yourself and your behaviour. There's certain behaviours that can be associated with ADHD. And if you look into this and drill into this a bit more yourself, you might find that you have got six of them. And these are the ones that cause you problems. You could be um, time blind and just not understand how long it takes you to do something. You'd always turn up late or early. Um, perhaps you turn up on the wrong day to an appointment. I've done that several times recently. Um, for my kids, I've just completely got it wrong. Um, starting projects can be really hard. Finishing projects can be really hard. Um, finances can be really hard for people with ADHD. There's a lot of reasons why getting this um, understanding of how your brain works can be a very empowering thing. Um, it can also help you get support from others. Now, those others may be your GP, maybe your partner, um, family members, friends. You know, it really depends on who you want to tell. But I think them understanding that you have this disability, because it is a disability, um, it gives them a better understanding of why your behaviour might be the way it is at certain times. Um, I also think it's a good thing to do for your kids. If you've got kids and you think you have ADHD, there's a really good possibility that they could have it too. I think it's something like 50% chance. And both my kids do. One of them is combined, one of them is inattentive. That's how I recognised it in myself. But it could be a vice versa thing. You recognise it in yourself and then you can recognise it in them or other people. I've actually got two friends now that have been diagnosed because um, I have brought it up and I've encouraged them to go and seek a diagnosis and it's helped them amazingly. I put a post up on my Facebook group and I know a lot of people don't want to share this with the world and it's a private thing and that's fine. Um, I'm definitely the oversharing kind of, of adhd -er. So I, I sat in it for a little bit. I soaked it in. I understood what it meant for me. Then I put a Facebook post up and it was quite a long one. I had so many women reach out to me and a couple of men reach out to me and say, I think you've just described me. What do I do about it? And for me, again, that was so empowering. I'm helping other people have a better understanding of themselves, hopefully to lead a better life for themselves, whether they get diagnosed officially or not. At least if I've brought some attention to those issues, it's helped them in a small way. So yeah, you can help your kids, you can help your friends, you can help your family by understanding all of this better. And by having that understanding, it can actually make your life a little bit easier. Instead of thinking you're this or that or the other, you now know, well, I've got ADHD. This is a typical trait for ADHD. Um, I'm going to give myself a little bit of grace. I'm going to try and figure out a better way of doing this for myself. Um, I'm going to look for a bit of support 
on this. And there's heaps and heaps of Facebook groups out there. So go and find your tribe. Um, you know, there's there's Facebook groups for women. There's Facebook groups for female entrepreneurs. I'm sure there's Facebook groups for men with ADHD as well, but not being a male um, orientated person. I've not looked into that. And I'm sure there's just ones out there for everyone. Um, and they have certainly helped me on occasions when I've had difficulties, you know, had to overwhelm or been completely stressed and whatever it has been, I've found them very useful. So what do you do if you think you might have ADHD? Um, the first thing I would suggest is read up on it. Find out some more about ADHD in adult women. Um, I certainly had to do this and there's not as much information out there as there is for men because back in the day, um, they still thought that it was only boys, men that got this. They thought that we grew out of this. And I think even now there's a ratio of something like four boys to one girl getting diagnosed. So there's not so much concrete information out there for us to look at. But what there is tends to be pretty good. So gather your information, do some self-testing, figure out whether you think this is something that you need to pursue or if you're happy living with it as it is. If you want to pursue it in Australia, and I would imagine that this is the same in the UK as well, um, coming from the UK, speak to your GP, uh, tell them your concerns, get them on board because if you want to speak to a psychiatrist, you will probably need to get some sort of referral to see the specialist. And then comes the joyful part of finding a specialist, which at the moment is not easy. Yeah, I was very lucky. I was on an ADHD Facebook group. A lot of the women had mentioned this psychiatrist and I booked my, uh, I wasn't in a desperate rush to get assessed. And I think it was, it was before Christmas, well before Christmas last year that I decided to do it. And I booked, I don't know, it was something like three months waiting to get assessed. And I don't think that's that unusual. Um, but I was quite happy with that because I wanted to wait until my kids had gone back to school. And I give me time to process this if I was going to find it difficult. Um, so yeah, then you speak to your specialist, you go through the testing, which I think is different in different countries. So I'm not really going to go into that look into it for your country. For me, it was basically I had to fill out some self-assessment and then I had an interview discussion with the psychiatrist, um, told him my family history, told him my kids history, which I think he probably got from the GP referral letter as well. Um, and fairly quickly, as far as I was concerned, um, I got the diagnosis of ADHD got my medication, started on it immediately and noticed a huge change for me. So I will put some information down below in the description box. Um, so if you want to look into this further, you can have a read yourself. I really hope that this has helped you if you're looking at this because it isn't an easy path to navigate. And a lot of people can be very shy to speak to other people about ADHD because it's still got that whole stigma attached to it as, you know, being this difficult thing. And I really want to break down those barriers. It has got its difficulties, but it also brings some amazing gifts with it. Um, and if you can deal with that and balance that, then I think that you'll have a much, much happier and more fulfilling life. Well, at least that's my hope for you. If you found this video helpful, can you do me a big, big favour and hit the subscribe button down below and hit like. Um, it helps YouTube put this video out to help other people and that's really what I want to do. So yeah, signing off for just now. Um, I hope you have a great day and I really hope that this has helped. Bye.